While most Christmas movies primarily focus on the simplest of holiday elements, there are some films that turn away from what you would expect from the ordinary Christmas movie, and yet still have a way of getting you excited about the season. So let's take this opportunity to turn away from the typical holiday films and look into my choices for the top five untraditional Christmas movies. Let's count them down. Five. They say that togetherness is key to keeping the Christmas spirit alive, but there is a downside for those who turn their back on their faith as demonstrated in the 2015 horror comedy, Krampus. It is a few days until Christmas, and 10-year-old Max is desperate to keep the holiday joy alive in his family. But this changes after his dysfunctional relatives arrive to stay for Christmas and create tensions that keep everyone's spirits down. The tension reaches its peak when Max is humiliated by his cousins, which led to a fight over his letter to Santa. I just wanted Christmas to be like it used to be, but forget it. I hate Christmas! I hate all of you! Filled with sadness, Max finally gives up on Christmas and destroys his Santa letter. However, this proves to be a big mistake when it catches the attention of a festive yet malevolent entity of German folklore. The polar opposite of Saint Nick, Krampus. Now isolated from the outside world and under Krampus's watchful eye, the broken family must come together in order to survive when the demonic Santa lets loose his minions upon the house. From Der Clown, the child-eating jack-in-the-box, <laughs> to a vicious teddy bear, <laughs> as well as a trio of hellish gingerbread men. And fun fact, one of them is voiced by Seth Green. Krampus is a film that gives you a look at the dark side of the holiday season. Moral of the story, keep your family close, and don't ever lose your Christmas spirit. Otherwise, you could be next. Four. After posting the previous countdown for worst superhero movies, I thought that if there was one good superhero movie with a holiday theme, it would have to be Batman Returns. In Tim Burton's continuation to the 1989 hit Batman, Michael Keaton returns as the Dark Knight, only this time, he is faced with many different challenges, and each one seems to have some kind of a Christmas-related component to it, such as the twisted and deformed criminal mastermind known as Penguin, Maxwell Shrek, who is a ruthless businessman that the citizens of Gotham see as their own Santa Claus, despite the fact that he's Christopher Walken with a mad scientist hairstyle. Santa Claus, afraid not. Facing the threats of Penguin's desire to destroy Gotham, Bruce must once again play the role as Gotham's defender. Now, even though Bruce is dealing with a ton of hardship as well as a troubled past, it does not stop him from defending the city and saving the holiday. <laughs> you missed. This film demonstrates that no matter how bad things can get in a gloomy environment, the Christmas spirit is all you need to keep going. Merry Christmas, Mr. Wayne. Merry Christmas, Alfred. Goodwill toward men. And women. Three. There's no doubt about it, one of the most beloved Christmas traditions is giving. But sometimes even the perfect Christmas gift can prove to be a real handful, as demonstrated in the family-friendly horror comedy, Gremlins. In this highly original 80s classic, young Billy gets a Christmas gift unlike any other, a little furball called a mogwai, who he names Gizmo. At first, this little furby-like creature appears to be the perfect pet. But after the three important rules to taking care of him are accidentally broken, it leads to the creation of a group of mischievous green creatures known as gremlins. Under the direction of their leader, Stripe, the gremlins soon begin to terrorize the town while throwing some silliness into the mix, like trashing the local bar and Christmas caroling. So, if you're one of those people who wants to take a break from, say, It's a Wonderful Life, Gremlins delivers heartwarming moments as well as mayhem so comical that you just can't help but laugh. Two. 
One thing that we do not see too often in Christmas movies is what would happen if this holiday was collided with another. This scenario is shown to us in the animated Disney musical, The Nightmare Before Christmas. In a world where each holiday has its own dimension, Jack Skellington, the ruler of Halloween Town, becomes sick of having to carry out the Halloween season time and time again. I, Jack, the Pumpkin King, have grown so tired of the same old thing. But when he comes across a series of doorways that lead to other holidays, he opens the most joyful looking one of them all and discovers the cheerful world of Christmas. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Having become thrilled about the idea of this joyous holiday, Jack introduces his findings to Halloween Town and is soon determined to become the new ruler of Christmas. His plan involves the abduction of Santa Claus, building a coffin-like sleigh, and delivering scary gifts to children around the world. With impressive stop-motion animation and an unforgettable music by Danny Elfman, The Nightmare Before Christmas is a very nice addition to everyone's Christmas movie collection. One. Time and time again, we've seen holiday films in which the main hero steps up to the plate and saves Christmas. Now, imagine an action movie where the hero saves Christmas in every hardcore way imaginable, which is exactly what Bruce Willis does as John McClane in Die Hard. It is Christmas time in LA, and the New York cop, John McClane, arrives to an office party to reconcile with his estranged wife. However, the evening takes a disastrous turn when the building is taken over by a group of terrorists led by one of the best movie villains ever, Hans Gruber, played by Alan Rickman. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. After being lucky enough to slip away, McLean sets out on a desperate mission to save his wife and the partygoers. Setting out as a one-man army, he fights back at the ruthless criminals and shows them that he means business. Now I have a machine gun. Chuck full of thrilling action, awesome stunts, as well as a ton of people who are just really getting into the holiday spirit. Hey! Merry Christmas! Jesus. California. While this film may seem unusual for a Christmas movie, Die Hard is a Christmas movie in its own unique way. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what kind of countdown you would like to see me do next. Now get off the internet and go celebrate the best time of the year with your loved ones. And until next time, this is Don Elmy wishing you a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year.